But should Democrats and Republicans make an effort to reach out to NASCAR? Dad's joining us now with his thought. Danny Fontana of Triune Capital Advisors. Danny, are you a NASCAR dad? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I live in NASCAR country, so clearly I know about it. You got Always no choice. good to be with you guys. Good yeah, to be I with really, you. I mean, it, 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 it's good to be with you because you guys, you know, you are the Donnie and Marie of FBN, and I love that. <laughs> oh, <that's> right. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bit country. He's a little bit rock and roll. Oh, I heard some. I heard somebody say "eha," so obviously yeah. somebody's there. Okay. That was actually Here's, Toby, but he's part of the family. Okay, we got we've got the soccer moms who who helped out Bill Clinton <coughs> back then. Now we talk about NASCAR dads. So how yeah. how powerful and important is that vote? Well, it's very powerful because it's a ton of people. For example, I mean, there's going to be 200,000 people uh, at the Daytona 500 this Sunday. Uh, and Charlotte, where I live, is, is the home of the, the Coca-Cola 600. There's 200,000 people there. It's huge. But there's a misnomer here. There's a disconnect in that they think that the NASCAR fan is lower income, middle income, and so that necessarily they would translate to a, a blue state or a democratic uh, geopolitic. And that's not necessarily the case. NASCAR is a very, very moneyed sport, and the South is a very, very uh, red type patriotic state so uh, I, I think while both uh, uh, parties are going to want to court these guys there's there's a little bit of a, a dichotomy going on because they've got to appeal to the lower to middle income uh, person that's in the infield while at the same time they've got to be courting the, uh, the the campaign contribution from the the owner of the car and the racing team who are very moneyed people you know it's not a mistake that they hold the annual banquet at the Waldorf Astoria every year I mean that's not exactly halter tops and chicken bones you know <laughs> well and, and it's not for nothing tonight by the way 7 p.m. Joe Gibbs the former Redskins coach who's now big in NASCAR. Uh, he's got Toyotas in his company. He's going to be on scoreboard 7 p.m. with some very important business people who think that one of the best places to advertise right now is through NASCAR. Yeah, and I mean, these are the, again, I say to you, this, the reach of NASCAR is absolutely enormous. Uh, if you knew what the cost was to sponsor a race team, we're talking about $100,000 a, a car per week mm. uh, for a minimum of like, uh, you know, 12 weeks or something. It's, it's, it's not an inexpensive uh, hobby. Uh, NASCAR is a great place. Joe Gibbs is a terrific guy, uh, and there's some really fabulous people that own NASCAR race teams. Let's bring in our bulls and bears here, uh, Tobin. Everybody talked about Formula One having the big money, but Danny makes the point that NASCAR...